Goomba Fish here, and I am playing more Red Dead Redemption. Um, it's rainy. Look at that. I love it when it rains in the game. We're going to go over and see what Bonnie is up to. We haven't seen her in a couple of days, and she's probably wor worried about John. <laughs> Let's go talk to Bonnie Licious. Sun came out. Sunny and rainy. I wonder if there's gonna be a rainbow. All right. Let's see what Bonnie's up to. And the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, no. Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Yeah, let's do it. Before the weather gets any worse. All right, let's go. That sky don't no, look good. No, it's super I'm dark out. I'm think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path but me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books. Others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Pastor's who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. We're not gonna be able to hear each other in this rain. Just make sure you don't lose sight of me. Let's do this thing. Alright, come on, cows. Become a straggler. No! Wait, is that a cow or is that a deer? That's a deer. <laughs> Damn you, cows! Where are you guys going? What the heck? Come on! No! No, you don't! Come on! Listening to me. Come on, you cows. No stop. Let's go. Come on, cow, you gotta go. It's dangerous Whoa. out here. Eat. Yee Good job, cows. Do it, cows. It's not worth it. Yeah. Oh, damn! No! I rode my horse too hard. Let's go. Don't, 
Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare go off the cliff and wall! <laughs> don't! Don't you dare, cows! Oh! Don't you- Nope! 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 Oh. <gasps> no! Why did the cow jump off? You dummies! <sighs> oh, I lost two cows. Get back over there. guys you have to go the other way to the wrench come on you guys know how to do this it's just a little rain a little thunder a little lightning Sad that I lost some. You saved the herd back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Thank you, Miss McFarland. <laughs> he did it. He saved the cows. All right. Saved a bunch of cows. We're gonna go see what the marshal's up to in Armadillo. Hold on. There's a question mark. Hello, friend. What are you doing? You enjoying this beautiful view? I know who you Hi are, there. Marston. You know me? Hello, John. John Marston. Do I know you? I hope so. I seem to know you. I'm pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Do you remember Hattie McCourt's face? Who? She was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. Same one you got shot on. Pretty girl, until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon and her brain was plastered over a wall. Not really. Then why would you remember me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your game, friend? I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. I wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine is drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thieves Landing. I think he's going to be unfaithful to his dear wife. Why don't you head over there? 
and see if you can advise him how best to proceed. What do you think I am? I know what you are, John. Just if you've got the time, friend. This guy's weird. Alright. So that's another stranger that we can do a mission for. I'm gonna go with these landing. But right now we're gonna go see the marshal. Look at this beautifulness. Just the open landscape. I love it. See the marshal. What does he want to do today? <laughs> ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Oh, and raped the women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? Let's go. All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's going to be a bloody job. Huh. <laughs> I don't think I know any other kind, sir. This guy. Hey, wait up. Ooh, sun's coming out and it looks beautiful. Let's hit the breeze, boys. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Nickin. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. The result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. A more flannel mouth Funko artist I've never met. I see him. Marston, you and Eli go check it out. All right, let's go, Eli. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Marshal. Man, this don't look Man, too good. Don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Oh yeah, I got a new gun. Let's go find those bandits. Let's go. Let's stay on this road. Maybe the folks at Ridgewood Farm saw something. A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain evil. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. Any number of people. Especially now the word's out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Poor vultures. This don't look so good. God damn it. Come on, let's take a look. Oh no, another. Campsite that's all murdered. Yep. Poor people. Man, more dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Alright, let's go. 
Yeah. Come on, let's ride. They can't have got too far. Sons of bitches. If you want to run a gang of outlaws, Marston. Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean. Looks deserted. Where is everyone? Split up and search the area. John, you check the buildings in the barn. All right. Go! Go! Oh! Got stuff. Shed's clear, Shed's Marshall! Shed's clear. Come out. No one here? No one here. There's no good reason for that to be boarded up. Come on, John. Shoot that door open. All right. So sad, these people. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> oh no. Let's go. Right, boys, we need to the get first, that look how beautiful right the sunset is. <laughs> Oh, heck no. Oh, I'm too far away for these guys? Nope. <gasps> oh, there, there's a lot of these dudes. Oh, I see red dots. I think they're set. Oh, no. Later. <gasps> nope. You curious to see hell? You better be. Yeah. In your face, guys. in the back as soon as it looks clear.
Stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boy! No, no, he don't. Everybody, take cover in that shed. Buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! <coughs> Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Let's get him to jail. Ooh! That was quite the shootout. We still didn't get Bill. What's going on over here? You guys behaving? Alright. You guys be good. Well, we did a lot. Rounding up cows, having shootouts. Help, please, it's Herbert Moon. No, what happened to Herbert Moon? Uh oh. Oh, heck no, guy. You are gonna come here right now. You come here. And this is what happens. What you been eating? What you Boy, I'm down by I didn't even have to kill you. Just hog tie you. <laughs> like the way he tries to run. <laughs> Here you go, Herbert. Come on. Here you go. Do what you want with. That's the spirit that made this country great, Par. He'll taste some armadillo justice for sure. Alright, we got a lot done. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Red Dead Redemption, and I will see you guys later. Bye!